This is my take on a presentation on WinCollect 10 that Joshua Ryan did on the Master Skills University 2021. Uh, here's the link in case that you want to watch the entire 45 minutes replay. Very, very good one uh, because the enhancement they did to the products are really remarkable. You'll see that. I'll, I will try to demonstrate that here. Uh, also, keep in mind that there's always the Windows uh, WinCollect 101 page that Jonathan Petra maintains. Looks like he hasn't done the update on Win 10, but I'm sure that by the time you watch this, that might be actually done. I have a Win 10 machine with WinCollect already installed. When I tried to first install the Win 10, it told me that my version was too old. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upgrade to the latest version of 7.3.1, uh, which is just running the, this installer is really a breeze. With that out of the way, I can run the installer, but the installer needs to run with command uh, with admin rights. So I'm going to launch a command prompt. And let me go to that uh, desktop. So let's run the installer from here. And the upgrade, because it detects that it has the previous version goes like a breeze. I'm pausing the video to save some time here. That is all. Uh, the installation didn't mention this, but I had to reboot the machine, otherwise I could not reach the console. Let me actually do that, pausing the video. So in here we have a win collect entry new, yeah, that's the console. Let's launch it. It's browser-based, so you need to specify which browser you want. Uh, if you take the default, it will always pick up on Edge. So, and I don't not comfortable with Edge. So, it, use either Google so, or Firefox browser. So, I'm going to select uh, Chrome here and put that check mark, and that brings us into the console. So, not only they have simplified many things in WinCollect, but also it the agent tune itself, so it's not generating as much traffic as before. It knows, uh, has a, some sort of algorithm that detects how often it should actually pull the resources based on how much it learns that they are actually sending. is a much smaller installer, uh, so a whole bunch of uh, enhancement. Uh, let's actually go through some of those. So we have this hamburger menu. We're going to return back to this one. Okay, has uh, I, I like this log viewer. It was you have to watch before the logs in Windows natively, and here you can actually watch them as an interface for for that. It's actually I think that's actually very very good. Now it also has this notification bell that will tell you when you have applied a change, whether something need, needs to be applied, whether stuff is not actually working, etc. It's actually very nice. And this is just for the advanced UI and the version in case that support asks you for which version of WeCollect you are actually uh, running. Go to Curator Console, I see that I'm getting the events from the updated version. Let's explore some of the options. So if you go here on the Agent Settings, you can actually see the configuration that I had before by sending the logs to the Curator console. In fact, let me actually test it out. Yeah, it says that it's communicating with uh, my Curator console. I haven't made any changes there. Let's explore some other options. The only local resource that I have is uh, this machine. Um, I don't have any remote sources. We're going to add a few now. Uh, destination is the curator setup. If you want to add or you want to change this and make it point to, a, for example, a log collector, an event collector, uh, you can actually do it from here. But what I think it is remarkable, uh, besides the other things I mentioned on the auto tuning, uh, is actually when you create lots of log sources. Let's say that I want to add 100 log sources. 100 Windows machines. Well, to do that previously was really, you know, you may look in, might be looking at what alternative you have. I don't think that you need to do that. 
right now. So let's actually go through the menu and let's say I want to add uh, in bulk a group of machines. I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call it uh, demo machines. And log source type and this uh, you know reminds you all the things that Win Collect can bring from not just Windows Log but also DNS, DHCP, you know, SQL Server, all these things that you can actually uh, select in here. I only have Windows Security Events. Uh, what do you want to get? I want to get application, the typical system and security. Uh, again, all the options in, in here. And I put uh, the credentials. I'm going to create a new credentials. Pausing the video here. So I put the credentials and click next. And here on the destination, the good thing is I can either manually add the devices or I can actually import them from a file which I will just have all the IP addresses and or combination of the host names of the machines that I want to add in bulk. So you can have the 100 machines in a simple text file imported here and voila. So I'm going to add one manually here. The machine it's actually a demo machine here 172.16.60.41 and add that and I can even click here to test it. Click next. It actually failed. I put the wrong IP address. Let me actually fix that. I'm going to delete that one. It passed the test now and here we get the actually uh, summary. Oh, I need to select the, the the destination. The what is the the piece that I'm sending it to, and I'm going to say that is to uh, curator. Okay, and that is it. When I click apply, then what this is doing in the background is updating all the configuration files. Let me actually show you that because these guys really simplify this quite a bit from comparing to WinCollect version 7. Go into the Curator console real quickly before I do that. Uh, in the log activity I look for those two boxes and I should get those WinCollect messages here. So if you go under C program files IBM win collect config you find the traditional files in there but they are not traditional it's actually oh come on let me open it with notepad and believe it or not a file that used to be very large and it's now just this and if you want to make changes in here like I you see we have two destinations they are actually the same because I had it uh, defined in here but you can actually add it here you know copy the XML uh, add additional machines like I'm doing in here uh, and then stop the agent on, 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 on go on their services stop the wing collect agent and start it again and it will pick up all those changes it's that easy also in the uh, replay of the session from Joshua Ryan you will find that he did a whole bunch of uh, PowerShell, ex PowerShell uh, scripts to automate other things you may find that interested in the spirit of trying to keep my videos under 10 minutes uh, that's what it is I think it's a remarkable uh, addition to the curator capabilities